Hello everyone. I hope you're doing good and staying safe. Welcome to yet another interesting tutorial by Simply Code. In today's session, we are going to learn about between operator in SQL. Now, SQL provides us with many such tools that help in retrieving useful information from all kinds of data. Sometimes we need to retrieve only a particular range of values from all the values of a tables column. For example, to retrieve the information about all the employees of a company born in a particular decade or year. or let's say to find the salaries of all these employees in a particular range you need a tool for that now sql between operator helps in performing these activities and is an integral part of this query language so in today's session we are going to discuss about the between operator in detail with its syntax and execution in mysql workbench so without any further ado let's get started with today's topic but before we begin if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already Consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest technologies and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let us jump straight into today's topic. So as you can see, MySQL Workbench has started, and before getting into the execution part, let us just quickly understand what is between operator in SQL. Now the SQL between operator is used to test whether an expression is within a range of values or not. This operator is inclusive, so it includes only the start and end values of the range and the values can be textual numerical type or date type now between operator can be used with select insert update as well as the delete command so to get a clear picture of how this operator works let us get into the syntax of it now the syntax is followed as select column names from table name where column name between range start and range ends so the columns to be retrieved are specified after the select statement and that and the table the columns are being retrieved from the specified is the in the, is in the from statement and then we have the between operator which is used in the where clause the column we want to apply the range condition on is specified with the column name parameter and the starting value of the range of values is specified in the range start parameter and the ending value in the range end parameter so now that we have understood how exactly the between operator works let us get into some examples and understand its execution part So let us take an example to understand the SQL between operator. So I am taking the new employees uh, as the example here. So let me just display the values. For that, I am using the select operator. Select star from new employees. Let us execute the statement. So the new employees uh, table has various columns such as employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, hiring date, job ID, salary, manager ID, department ID. That's it. So right. now we'll take a simple example uh, to understand the between operator so let's say if you want to retrieve the id and name of the employees with ids in the range let's say now we have ids up to range like 198 200 201 so let us take uh, the range between 110 and let's say 170 then we'll use the following query as select employee id comma first name from table that is new employees use the where condition where employee id between is the keyword 110 and 170 so let us execute this and we'll see the output so as you can see it will display the records of all those employees whose employee id lies between the range that is 110 and 170 now if any employee who's having their employee id is 110 even their values are also included in the resultant set and similarly if any employee has 170 in their as their employee id even their data will be in the resultant set now in the table we do not have any employee who's having the employee id as 170 so we do not have the information now so in this case it will only display only the details of all those employees who's having the employee id range in 110 and 170 and 17 well moving ahead uh, let us take next another example now we can use the order by statement also to sort the result based on some columns now let's say if you uh, want to retrieve the details of all those employees with salary ranging from 35000 to let's say 75000 and in order to sort this result based on the salary we'll use the following query as select i want to display all the details so i'm using the star operator select star from new employee where salary between 
and let us take uh, let's say fifty five thousand, right? And I'll use the order by salary, so that it will display the values of all their salaries in the ascending order. So let us execute and we'll see the output. So as you can see, there are only uh, five employees in our new employees table. Uh, for example, Renske Ladwig, who is working as a clerk, is having salary thirty six thousand, which is in the bracket of thirty five thousand and fifty five thousand. Similarly, we have Diana Lawrence, whose salary is forty two thousand. Similarly, we have Jennifer Wallen, whose salary is forty four thousand, and so on. So, in general, we use the between operator to find the range of values. Like, for example, we are finding the salary range, right? So, in a similar way, we can use the between operator to find uh, the range between two given values of a particular column. Now, similarly, we can use the not operator with between uh, as well. Now, we can also use the not operator with the between operator to select the values that do not belong to that specified range. Now, instead of using between, if I mention the not between keyword here, it will basically display all those records of employees whose salary is not in the range of thirty-five thousand and fifty-five thousand. Now, it will display the records of all those employees. Like, if you take Herman Bear, whose salary is ten thousand, which is not in the bracket or in the range of thirty-five thousand and fifty-five thousand. Similarly, it will display the records of all those employees whose salary is not in between that range, which is thirty-five thousand and fifty-five thousand. In this way, you can use the not between keyword as well, which will exclude uh, the results that are not in the given range. Now, you can use the uh, between operator with the date values as well. Now, when using the between with dates or the date time values, we need to remember to enclose the date in single inverted commas, as otherwise the query will return a syntax error. So, let us take an example here. Let's say if I want to retrieve the details of all those employees. Whose hiring date is in between, let's say, two thousand and two thousand seven. Now, as you can see, our hiring date is between like two thousand five, two thousand four, two thousand two, and similarly, etc. Right. So, in that in that case, I want to display all those employee details whose hiring date was in between two thousand and two thousand seven. So, in that case, the following query would be select star from new employees again, which will display all the records where hire date. Between mention the inverted commas, so I'll take from first January two thousand and thirty first December two thousand seven. Right. So let us execute this statement and we'll see the output. So it will display uh, me the records of all those employees who have. Their hiring date in between this range, which is January first, two thousand, and thirty first December two thousand seven. So in this way, you can use the between operator with the date values as well. Right. Moving ahead, uh, now we can use the between operator with the text values as well. Uh, between operator can also be used with the character data types. Uh, like for example, while using any text values, we need to remember to again enclose the data in single inverted commas. Otherwise, it, it will uh, return a syntax error. So let us take an example here. Let's say uh, we want to retrieve all the employee details, and along with their names belonging to a range from let's say alphabets A and J. That means we want the details of all those employees whose name is in between the first letter that is A and the letter J. In that case, the following query would be select star from new employees where I'm taking first name. Right, first name between letter A and letter J. Enclose them in the inverted commas, and we'll see the output now. So let us also uh, order. We'll use the order by statement so that we'll have in ascending order. I think there is a no need for that, so we'll just directly uh, execute this. So as you can see, it will display the records of all those employees uh, whose name is in the range uh, with starting letter A and the starting letter J. Now you can see Donald O'Connell, whose first name starts with D, right? So it is in the range of A and J. It will it lies between A and J. And similarly, we have Herman, we have Alexander and David, Guy Himuro, etc. So in this way, you can use uh, the between operator to find the values. in a particular range which have only text uh, data types
And that brings us to the end of today's session, guys. That was a quick tutorial on how to use the between operator in SQL. If you remember all the SQL between operator rules and syntaxes, you can easily customize your queries to retrieve the type of information that you want. This tool along with other SQL tools enables us to write different kinds of essential queries. Now, this between operator is generally used to find uh, the values within a certain range. For example, you can find the salaries of the employees within a certain brackets. You can also find the marks of the students in a particular range. And similarly, you can find the details of the products uh, which lie in a certain range. So in all these cases, you can use the between operator as per your requirement. So now that you know about the between operator, it is time for you to start using the between operator along with other SQL commands, clauses and operators to query your, your database tables. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. If you have any further questions regarding any of the topics that were covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.